I do one thing that you mentioned is that I think is a very important skill is discerning why the family is there. Um, and there's so many people who don't do well in emergency medicine and when they're in training rotations and things because they go into the room with the philosophy that there's nothing wrong. Even though they already looked at the chart, they looked at the vital signs, they're like, there's nothing wrong with this kid. And while it might not be what you think, they think, but they always have an idea of something, a real reason that they're there and a real oh, yeah. concern. So I always teach the residents listen to the family. They're, they aren't just here for fun because this isn't that fun. No one likes to be in the emergency yeah. room. I work nights, as you know, and no one wants to be there at 3.30 in the morning, really. So I walk in and I'm like, why are you here tonight? I ask them, why are you here? What seems to be the problem? And then sometimes I ask them, why are you here now? And I'm not trying to be trying to pin them down or something. I mean, it, what's different than it was at seven o'clock tonight or, or yesterday morning when they've been sick right. for three days? What are, you, what are you here now? What's different? When I ask that question, you know, what's different now? Sometimes they get that, this is the only time I could come in. That's absolutely a fair answer. Yeah, yeah. You know? And, and sometimes, there sometimes there's something that's happened in the background, like the mom's sister lost a baby, uh -huh. you know, but yeah. they don't walk in the door saying that and the more and more you open up, they'll finally say, oh, thank you, I, I know everything's really okay, but this is what happened and this is why I'm worried. Mm -hmm.